Hey there, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther. I'm gonna show you how to create this interesting impossible infinity vortex. So that's how it's called. Uh, I just found uh, this and uh, it was like an impossible puzzle for me to solve because it's like it was like really difficult. I didn't understood how to do it. I tried a lot of possibilities until I bumped into a YouTube tutorial from uh, Zach. He's a tattoo artist. He's uh, working with pen and paper and also, you know, ink. And he was showing how to do it uh, with circles, you know, on a pen and paper. So I got inspired. So it, uh, the whole thing started from this kind of grid system and eventually got more complicated. And then I, I also discovered a more simpler way how to do this in Adobe Illustrator with few simple, more simple steps. So yeah, but before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. So yeah, let's jump in. I'm gonna create a new artwork. And uh, what I want you to do is select the stroke first, of course, and deselect the fill. If you have a color on the fill, just click none. So you're left with the stroke go to uh, the ellipse tool it's right here and just click on the screen type in 50 by 50 width and height and then click OK all right from here I got, I'm gonna go to the rotate tool press and hold alt click on on this anchor point right here while you press and hold alt and type in minus 15 and click copy and just press Control D until you just go round and round there you go from here I'm gonna create a new copy from this I'm gonna press and hold alt and I'm gonna position this right where they intersect actually I'm gonna group these all right click and group now I'm just gonna place it here and I'm gonna click this horizontal align center and uh, vertical align center. So now it aligns it perfectly because it, it, it finds kind of difficult, you know, to find the center point when you got this, this much of stuff going on in there. So from here, I'm gonna go and press and hold Alt, drag it, press Shift at the same time and we're gonna drag where are they yeah so i need to drag it where these two circles they intersect i'm gonna press ctrl y yeah they intersected perfectly so as you can see it gets complicated so it's it's all about these two circles i'm gonna highlight it with the pink so the, these guys need, need to touch each other. So when they touch each other, then you know that uh, you're in the right uh, track. So I'm going to delete these. And from here, this is the grid system that uh, we are going to eventually create these interesting circles. OK, um, I'm actually going to create a new copy. So I got an original. If it happens that I'm going to ruin it, then I can still go back. Okay, I'm gonna start and just go round and round like like here. I'm gonna press. I actually I'm gonna select this or press Shift plus M Shape Builder tool, and we're just gonna connect this and then connect all of these together. So right here it's it's still simple it's still not too complicated but uh, later on things are gonna get more funky so as you can see here I didn't go all the way because this part is going to go actually no because this part is going to go like this so I should go actually like so so here things are going to get more complicated a little more but uh, I'm gonna show you that a little bit later when I bump into those complications So 
So you can see here how they connect in a weird way. Um, we're just at that part right now. Um, so I'm gonna leave it like this right now and I'm gonna, gonna go on and uh, see how it's gonna play off at the end. For me also it's kind of complicated so I'm trying to figure out still how to do it. Right now it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just gonna make a prototype out of this stuff so it won't be the final one. Oh, okay, so as you can see it just we just cut it in right here So I'm gonna cut in right here I think Actually, you know what I'm gonna decrease the opacity of this I'm gonna lock it And I'm gonna go on and cut it like this so I got a reference because it's heck really complicated. So this should go right here. So basically these get connected, these areas in here, like, the, like this, and yeah. All right, so I'm gonna delete the this one right here, and this is how it should be, something like that. So you can see we have a lot of stuff going on. It's not perfect. This is just for a reference, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this a little bit more here. I'm gonna create a new copy somewhere. Just a sec. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so from here I should select the top. Ungroup it. Same thing with this one. Ungroup. And um, so what I'm gonna do is select these. It should be somewhere on the top. I'm gonna press shift plus X so I can see clearly what is going on yeah so be careful what you are selecting because not all of them are the right ones for example this is not the one so probably just gonna delete it and this is the one I'm gonna select it from this this angle so I know exactly that I'm selecting the right one Okay, so you press Shift plus X or you just go here on this thing. Swap, fill and stroke. Still got these. And so there's like a lot of layers going on. You really need to know what you're doing in here. If you can't access the right layer, then just delete these unnecessary layers. It's just gotta be somewhere uh, at the bottom. See, right there. So I just found it. Actually, I'm gonna create a new 
cardboard, so I'm gonna make it here. Alright, I'm gonna create... Actually, I won't create a new copy. So anyways, I'm gonna select these and then group them. And now right click and select group. And we're just gonna remove it to here. As you can see here, these are like more smoother. We got a little bit of problem here. And here you can see a lot of pixelations going on because uh, there's like a lot of layers under each other. You can see how many they are there. And you know, it's just destroying the quality. It adds a lot of um, anchor points, but anyway, this is, it still contains a ton of anchor points, but uh, this is the way to do it. Usually it, this is done traditionally. And uh, yeah, this is kind of how you achieve this uh, possible infinity vortex. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, check the other videos and have a great day. Bye bye.